There are some awesome films currently in theaters and coming to streaming, and producer Charlie joins me now with the latest. So, producer Charlie, what did you see this weekend? Okay, so let's start with A24's newest movie, Civil War. This is an R-rated dystopian film about the journey across the dystopian future America following a team of military-embedded journalists as they race against time to reach D.C. before rebel factions descend upon the White House. This is such a complex plot, I feel like. It's not, I don't think it was too complex, honestly. It okay. was very good. So this is, is, was written and directed by Alex Gar Garland. Um, it stars Kirsten Dunst, Wagner Mora, uh, our very own Springfield's very own uh, Kaylee Spaney, Ooh, very and cool. Stephen McKinley Henderson. Mm -hmm. Very good movie. Um, um, definitely wasn't exactly what I thought it was going to be going okay. into it from the trailer. Um, Nick Offerman and Jesse Plemons also have some roles in here. Nick Offerman Great plays the names. president. Yeah. Uh, Jesse Plemons is actually uncredited for his role, which I was surprised. Also learned today, like I said in the office, that him and Kirsten are married. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Wasn't aware of that. So uh, Garland said this is set in an indeterminate point in the future and serves as a sci-fi sci allegory for our current polarized predicament. Oh my gosh. So the That's film itself easy. doesn't really like lean one way or another politically. It stays okay. very like Neutral, off the maybe. political scale. Yeah, okay. It's more about just showing how the uh, journalists themselves go about mm. everything. Um, the budget for this was $50 million, the most expensive A24 film we've had so far. Wow. Um, it exceeded the, what expectations so far, $25.7 million, its biggest opening weekend for A24, and the studio's first top film at the box office. That's incredible. So if you're looking for something, yeah. I'd recommend this Okay, one. wait, so really quick, I have to know. So Kaylee Spaney, obviously from Springfield, so yes. what did you think of her performance in this? Wonderful. She, I loved her. I think she has a very promising future in the industry. Okay, I love that. All right, what's so, next? Moving on, we have The Long Game. This is a PG historical drama uh, about the true story of the San Felipe Mustangs, a group of Mexican-American youths uh, located in Del Rio, Texas in 1955. Mm. Um, this stars Jay Hernandez and Dennis Quaid. Dennis Quaid, wow. Mm -hmm, okay. Right? It was very good. Um, definitely had never heard this story before. Mm -hmm. Basically, like how these uh, his Hispanic-American kids went from being caddies at this golf club mm -hmm. to starting their own golf uh, club at the school they went to and showing everybody that, you know, somebody that's not white can do the same thing. Yeah, you know? that's um, really interesting. Based off a true story, you said? Yes, based off a true story. Okay, I love this. Um, so far, it's made uh, $1.3 in its opening weekend. Um, it also has Cheech Marin in it, and he has some great one-liners. Yeah. So This kind of reminds me of um, that other movie that came out last year, Last School Wins or whatever, that was based off next that real... Next School Wins, yes. Yeah, or Next School, A lot school, of yeah. based on true story of movies coming out lately. Interesting, okay. Um, so moving on, this is a movie that I was very surprised and very much enjoyed. This is called Hundreds of Beavers. Okay. So this is a slapstick comedy, not yet rated. Oh, uh, okay. It's about a drunken Applejack salesman played by Ryland Brixen Cole Twos. Uh, he must go from zero to hero and become North America's greatest fur trapper by defeating hundreds of beavers. I'm obsessed with this already. I loved this movie. So basically, it's almost like... Um, a silent film. There's music and some like, you know, sound effects and stuff, but there's very, very little dialogue, mm. and it's very Looney Tunes esque slapstick. Okay. Uh, people are in life, you know, animal costumes running yeah. around. Uh, this was written by Rylan and Mike Cheslick. Cheslick also directed the film. They did stuff in high school together. This movie was fundraised and shot in Wisconsin and Michigan. Completed over four years. Filmed wow. in sub-zero temperatures. No, thank you. And it's out today to rent and buy on Prime and Apple TV. I highly recommend this. Um, maybe not for the kids. There's a little bit of suggestive stuff in it. Sure. Not much, but it maybe is. Maybe not so much family friendly. May, maybe yeah. not as much, but it's still very, very good. Um, this weekend, we have a lot coming out for the box office, okay, I'm though. I'm excited. So this weekend, we have Abigail, The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, which I got to watch last week, and uh -huh. it was really good. I highly suggest it. Sasquatch Sunset, Hard Miles, and Villains Incorporated. Ooh. A lot of stuff coming out. So. Um, also, streaming over the weekend, a few things came out that I missed last week. Argyle's on Apple TV currently, Bob Marley, One Love on Paramount Plus, and Drive Away Dolls is on Peacock. Yeah. And then later this week on Friday, we have Migration for the kids. Really good one. I remember, Comes out during, on I remember you talking well. about that one. Yeah, that's I liked exciting. it. It was really cute. So. Yeah. Personally, I'd really like to check out the Bob Marley one on Paramount Plus because I never got to see it in mm -hmm. theaters. And I'm just curious. I've heard very mixed reviews of it. So. Going out of that one, I didn't feel like I learned anything new about Bob Marley. Okay. And I don't know much about Bob Marley to begin with, so I just felt like it didn't really yeah. showcase his life as the best. Okay. Maybe if I watch it this week, I'll share it with you all next week. All right.